Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series, well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be covering an upcoming collaborative release. The upcoming collaborative release that I'm going to be covering today is between Palace Skateboards and I think it's pronounced Jimmy's as they are collaborating for week five of Palace's Summer 2022 collection. But before we get into this upcoming collaboration, I just wanted to take a quick moment out of this video uh, just to thank you guys once again. So uh, over the past couple of uploads, particularly towards the end of last month, I was asking if we could hit three, three, four, five subscribers, 3,345. And you guys, unfortunately not before the end of May, literally on the second day of June though, <laughs> came through and helped the channel reach the subscriber milestone. So I wanted to thank the public and private subscribers for constantly supporting the channel and subscribing to it. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's crazy. Three, three, four, five. We're getting there. We're constantly climbing. That's what I love to see. Uh, when we get to three, three, fifty, uh, I will update the little subscriber milestone that we have here as I update that every 25 subs. So tell a couple mates, because that's definitely going to be the next milestone. Let's see if we can hit three, three, fifty guys. Can we hit it before the end of the month? I think you guys could do it, but we'll see how it goes. Is it Jimmy's? Or Jimmy Z. I, I honestly don't know because I've, I've never been to the store or never been to, uh, you know, anywhere that sells Jimmy or Jimmy's, Jimmy's or Jimmy Z. <laughs> uh, it's an LA based brand. So maybe some of you lovely people out in LA can tell me uh, how it's pronounced. But uh, yes, Palace is tapping them for a surfwear collaborative uh, collection for week five of their spring summer. Oh, sorry, their summer. 2022 season and it makes sense you know surfing brand surfwear summer season it, it ticks all the boxes it's exactly what you need if you want to look i guess a little bit more fly on the beach <laughs> which I, I you wait till you see the editorial and uh it's it's captured exactly that but uh yeah we won't be covering the individual items in this video today um they've actually been a little bit hard to i guess get information on um there's no the regular sources aren't posting a lot about it so it's kind of hard to cover it so what we'll be covering in today's video we'll be doing the best that we can we're going to be using the editorial so palace skaters and models rocking the collab uh we're going to use a hype beast article for the release details uh and i'll just go over my thoughts and opinions on the pieces that i can see in this editorial and then when we do the drop list video next I'll try and find something with the individual pieces in it for you guys. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. But um, yeah, well, let's head on over to the Hypebeast article now and we'll start covering the release details for this upcoming collaboration. So here we are at the Hypebeast article that we're going to be using today, guys. It'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out for yourselves. We'll quickly cover the release details for this week five collab. So taking a look at the collection in the Jerry... Uh, Hisu shot images above. The collaboration launches on June 3rd, which just checking, checks out, that's on the Friday. And it also releases in store in London, New York, and LA. It'll also release, of course, in Japan and China tomorrow on the 4th, on the Saturday. So Japan gets it uh, in store and online, and then China gets it via the WeChat store on the same day. 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time for the WeChat store, 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time for the in-store and online releases. The rest of the world, we get it on the 3rd, um, eight, uh, sorry, 11 a.m. British Standard Time on Palace's online store here. Um, and then it's, I think, 11 a.m. Ah, uh, is it PST time for the US online store? I always forget. I always forget. Um, yeah, but if you have any further questions about when it's dropping, where it's dropping, yada yada yada, drop it in that comment section below and I'll try and help you out the best I can there. But um, that's all the release details to do with this collab. It's release either uh, releasing either on the 3rd or the 4th, depending on your region. 
Now we've got to see what we're going to be getting in this collaboration. So let's dive into these nine images and try and see what we're getting in this Palace Jimmy's collab. Okay, so one of the pieces I know that we're getting is this button up all over, um, I, I shouldn't say all over print, it's more of a collage print, isn't it? Um, of eyes. Very reminiscent of the CDG Supreme stuff that released many, many years ago, but um, not, you couldn't say it's the direct copy because it is done quite differently, but it, with, you know, the focus of the collage being around the eyes, it does remind me of that piece or at least of that collab. Um, I like it though. It's a nice all over print button up shirt. I'd love to know what the material is. It's probably gonna be cotton, but it would have been, it would be really nice if it was either rayon. I doubt that it's gonna be silk, but that would be pretty baller if it was silk. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably gonna be a cotton or a cotton blend. Uh, I had a look at Jimmy's stuff that they normally release and it looks like a lot of their stuff seems to be easy to chuck on and easy to take off surfwear. And I noticed that a lot of their shorts that they have, uh, they have this easy in and easy out technology where it's a Velcro strap around the waist to tighten it, um, which looks pretty handy. Um, so it looks like we're getting some co-branded shorts releasing in this collab with that technology in it, that, you know, huge Velcro strap around the waist. Uh, so you can tighten it to whatever waist size you are even if the size doesn't correlate directly to you. So if you're a um, like a 37 waist, but you buy a 38, you'll be able to tighten it to the point where a 37 would fit quite comfortably. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that it had that um, that sizing mechanism. We'll probably get a co couple co-branded tees, but it's kind of hard to see because someone's getting put into a headlock at the moment. <laughs> so I'm hoping that the further images showcase that. Okay, so we get another shot of the uh, collage button-up t-shirt. I like this. This is quite nice. I could see myself rocking it. Um, basically in the same outfit, but it would be a little bit different. I'd probably be wearing dress pants that are black and maybe a uh, tank top. But yeah, basically over the top like it's being showcased here. Maybe in a bigger size though. Uh, it looks like we get a second color of it done in this like mint green. Awesome as well. Nice colors there, can't complain about it. We've got a mock neck striped t-shirt with what looks like co-branding down the bottom there. Um, don't know if there's anything on the back though. We've got, uh, looks like a third color of the uh, collage tee. Here it is here, we can see it in an orange. Probably my least favorite color out of the three that we've seen. We've got mint shorts as well. We first saw some, what color was it? It was like a, yeah, like a purple. So there's a purple and there's a mint color of the shorts. I think the mint color for the shorts is actually more my thing. All in all though, it is surfwear. You're gonna be wearing it at the beach. So any wacky color is fine with me because I mean, hey look, when I'm going swimming at the beach, I'm not really focused on how the fit's looking. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some of you guys are more stylish than I am, but I'm there to swim, not to look good, so. Yeah, so here is another shot of the uh, the purple colored shorts that we're getting. We've got a long sleeve as well, Jimmy's and uh, Easy In, Easy Out, that whole technology that I was talking about that they uh, dubbed. There's probably some co-branding on the back. Uh, here is another shot of one of the short sleeve t-shirts featuring the Jimmy's uh, car and then Palace done in Jimmy's font underneath. That's kind of cool. The branding is quite hard to see with the color. It's not really contrasting. The color works quite well with the overall color of the piece. I actually quite like that. It looks quite nice. We've got another shot of the uh, orange button up tee. We've got a pink long sleeve by the looks of it. We've got that tee coming in a gray color there as well. Um, is there anything else that we can really see here that looks collaborative? Because that's just a normal palace hat that we saw released last week or the week before. Don't think any of that is the co-branded stuff. We've got a jacket. Okay, so we've got a bomber. Um, or yeah, like I think that's probably the best silhouette that I could call it. A bomber jacket. Because, I mean, I, what else does it look like? It doesn't look like a coach's jacket. Yeah, I'd say that's a bomber jacket. Co-branding done with uh, like a gradient color palette over the top here, or maybe a spectrum color palette, however you want to define it or call it. Yeah, I mean, this is nice. I, I wouldn't mind it in a black. I don't know how I feel about this like uh, faded burgundy or brown potentially. It might even be a brown, I don't know. 
But uh, yeah, the silhouette's fine. The graphic on the back of it's kind of fun. Not too shabby. And then we get the long sleeve showcased to us again. Uh, I I'm hoping that this is textured, that you can actually feel it and it feels like, like, a, like a puff crocodile print or something, but who knows. It's got the car on top, it's got palace down the bottom, we see the shorts again, and that's the last image. So that's all we really get to go off when it comes to this collaboration, as, yeah, as I said, we don't have the individual pieces done in a photo shoot next, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, I'd say my favorite pieces are probably the collaborative uh, short sleeve tees. Uh, I don't mind the easy in, easy out, crazy surf shorts because I would just wear them, you know, when going swimming and stuff like that. Uh, I really like the button up t-shirt though. I think the button up t-shirt is my favorite piece from this collab. I definitely wear the white. Um, I'd wear it, I'd probably buy the biggest size just to get it as oversized as possible and just wear it as an overshirt during summer. Uh, yeah, it'd be a nice little piece to own for sure. But uh, yeah, that is all the images of the collab. So I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions based off what we see here. Do you like the Jimmy's Palace collab that's releasing for week five? Or are you more looking for the seasonal items that are going to be releasing this week? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, yeah, guys, that's everything to be said about this Palace Jimmy's Summer 2022 capsule collaboration. We covered everything to do with it. It's releasing on June 3rd or 4th, the Saturday, depending on where you live. Um, I will try and find a better source to use for the drop list video to cover all of week five's drop list, just so we, you know, have a better look at the individual pieces releasing in this collaboration. And of course the seasonal pieces as well, just cause we didn't get the best idea based off this hype beast article. So I'll see what I can do for you guys. But, um, now that we've covered everything that we had available to us from that hype beast article, uh, how are you feeling about it? Do you like any of the pieces of it? It might hit a lot harder for people that live in LA. You know, maybe Jimmy's is a really well-known local store and a Palace collab is just, you know, icing on the cake for a lot of Jimmy's fans out there. I honestly don't know. Don't live in the region, so I'm a little bit out of, uh, out of my depth here, you know? <laughs> but please, uh, let me know if you are picking up something from it, what you're picking up. Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to keep covering upcoming Palace releases and collabs, you've just got to give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for. A like on this video, a comment saying, cover the next Palace release, please. <laughs> or cover more Palace releases. And if you're not subscribed already, a subscribe to the channel. Now, as mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to hit the new subscriber milestone of 3350 before the end of the month so we can update this little subscriber milestone that we have here. I believe in you guys. I think you can do it, but we need five. So if you've got five mates, tell all five. If you've got 10, tell 10 and maybe two will sub. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach 3350 before the end of June. But that's all I got to say about the collab though. I wish you the best of luck if you are going for something from this collab. I hope you managed to pick up what you're going for in the size and color that you are after. But until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Jimmy's video, until the next Palace Skateboards video, guys, I'll catch you later.